Future Perfect Passive, presented by Oroz Vaisalo, class 10. Objectives. By the end of the lesson, students will be able to introduce and practice the form Future Perfect Passive, Turn the verbs from active voice into the passive voice in given sentence. Explain the difference between the active voice and the passive voice. Future Perfect Passive Future Perfect Passive is used to talk about actions or events that will be finished by a certain moment in the future. When we use this tense, we are projecting ourselves forward into the future and looking back at an action that will be completed some time later than now. Passive voice means that the subject of the sentence is acted upon. For example, this report will have been written by the 1st of November. The project will have been finished by next month. Future Perfect Passive The Future Perfect Passive is not very common in English because it's seldom required by the situation. Besides, it's better to use active voice in speech and writing. But when it's used, it's usually followed by a time expression, often with the word by. For example, don't worry, all work will have been done by 4 p.m. We are late. By the time we arrive to the stadium, the game will have been finished. All guests will have been brought to the event before it starts. Future perfect passive voice. Construction. Will plus have plus been plus past participle. Noted sold. Example verb. See. I will have been seen. You will have been seen. He, she, it will have been seen. We will have been seen. You guys will have been seen. They will have been seen. Context. How long have you been studying at the university for, Anne? This is my third year. So I've been studying for three years. So by next year, will your studies have been finished then? That's what I'm hoping for, yes. Are you thinking about doing a master's? If I do a master's, it'll add another two years onto my studies. And to be honest, I prefer to enter the workforce immediately. Fair enough. We'll talk again next year. Best of luck. Thanks. Analysis. 1. How long have you been studying at the university for, Anne? Have been studying is the present perfect continuous in the active form. We use the present perfect continuous to talk about an action that started in the past and continues until the present moment. 2. I've been studying for three years. I've been studying is the present perfect continuous, active, being used to describe an action that started in the past and continues until the present moment. 3. So, by next year, will your studies have been finished then? Will have been finished is the future perfect in the passive voice. The focus is on the action, studies being finished. 4. If I do a master's, it'll add another two years onto my studies. If plus infinitive plus will plus infinitive is the first conditional. In English, there are four conditionals 0, 1, 2, 3. And the first conditional is used to describe a possible but unlikely future. 5. Fair enough. A common expression that can show that someone agrees with another person or shows indifference. 
future perfect tense. Auxiliary verbs used in passive voice will have been. Active voice. He will have received the letter. Passive voice. The letter will have been received by him. Active voice. He will not have received the letter. Passive voice. The letter will not have been received by him. Active voice. Will he receive the letter? Passive voice. Will the letter have been received by him? Now, students, let's practice. Fill in the future perfect passive form. First, he will have played a lot of computer games. Future perfect active. Second, they will have written the story. Future perfect active. Third, they will have returned the mobile phone. Future perfect active. Fourth, he will have bought a new laptop. Feature perfect active. Now, students, let's compare with your answers. First, a lot of computer games will have been played. Passive. Second, the story will have been written. Passive. Third, the mobile will have been returned. Passive. Fourth, a new laptop will have been bought. Passive. Turn the verbs from active voice into the passive voice. First, the children will have seen the show. Active voice. He will have read this book. Active voice. She will have taken the test. Active voice. They will have sold their house. Active voice. Now, students, let's compare with your answers. First, the show will have been seen by the children. Passive voice. Second, this book will have been read by him. Passive voice. Third, the test will have been taken by her. Passive voice. Fourth, the house will have been sold by them. Passive voice. Now guys, take your homework. Make up five sentences using future perfect passive. Okay, the lesson is over. Goodbye students. Have a nice day.